Hello everyone, I'm Ritisha Huda. And I'm Arav Sethi. We are from CBSE 12 and are delighted to be hosting this episode of Smart 360, More Than Just News. This bulletin series promises to update you on all the happenings of the world and all the campuses of GIIS. The idea is to share information, generate curiosity and spread knowledge and also have fun while learning new things. So let's begin. We have some exciting news for all of the students of grades 6 to 8. A prefect batching ceremony is soon to be held in our school where representatives from every class will be selected and given batches to carry out their duties throughout the entire year. The ceremony will witness 50 students receiving their titles. We have two of our secondary coordinators with us in the studio, Lata Ma'am and Lakshmi Ma'am, who will be sharing with us more details about this ceremony. Welcome to the studio, Ma'am. Please uh, tell us more about this prefect ceremony. Investiture ceremony is an integral part of the students' development at GIIS, where we interest them with important responsibilities as part of the student council. The class prefect investiture ceremony uh, is a formal event when we recognize and badge our students who have been selected for leadership roles and positions of responsibility within the student community. Investiture ceremony provides an opportunity to publicly acknowledge these students' achievements and formally introduce them to the school community in their new roles. This ceremony will be conducted in the presence of our principal and academic supervisors, and they will be the ones to badge our student prefects. This ceremony will be broadcast to all the classrooms, and the children can sit back and enjoy their fellow students being badged and get motivated to achieve similar roles in the years to come. All the best students, do well for yourself and carry on your responsibilities well. Thank you, Lakshmi ma'am. Lata ma'am, would you like to share what is the idea of this initiative by the school? Okay, as Lakshmi ma'am rightly pointed out, it's a short ceremony. But please keep in mind the short ceremony is going to be a long journey which you are going to embark. This is going to be a completely new responsibility for you as a student leader. Now getting the support from your fellow members is going to be the most difficult task. I'm sure you will work closely with your class teachers and your coordinators and make sure that you are able to come up with innovative ideas to ensure your classmates support you in this journey and you come out with successful and flying colors. Now this is also a stepping stone for you to move to the next level which is the student council when you move to the higher class especially from high school onwards. Now the skills what you learn as a prefect is going to definitely help you to become a better member in the community and I'm sure the peer influence which is always spoken for the wrong thing can be kind of rectified and this peer influence is what we want to see and uh, shining in each of you and getting your fellow members work closely with you and I'm sure Sure, Ritisha and Arav, you have experienced your prefectorial uh, positions in your middle school and that's why you stand here today interviewing us and I'm sure the students who are taking the badge today will responsibly act and build a better community for yourself and for all of us. Thank you for those insightful words Lakshmi Ma'am and Lata Ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure it will motivate the students to take up leadership roles and work towards the betterment of school community. Absolutely, and we wish the soon-to-be-selected prefects the best for their future endeavours. GIS East Coast campus students have showcased their prowess in Tamil language by winning multiple awards in several literary competitions recently. In the Tirukkural Villa 2023 competitions, Karthike Charan Ganpati and Shri Krish Nandan Satish Kritika from CBSC Grade 6 won the first and third prizes respectively in the primary 5-6 to six category. On the other hand, Harini Preeta Ganpati won the first prize in primary 1-2 to two category and Shruti Lakshmi Narayan won the second prize in primary 3-4 to four category. In addition, GIIS EC Campus won the overall trophy for the first position in primary 1-3 to three category at the Tamil Literary Competitions conducted by the Algapa Alumni Team Singapore along with Tamil Language Development Centre. Such accomplishments by GIS students demonstrate how every student is nurtured to explore their talents and hone them beyond their confines of the classroom and help sharpen their public speaking, linguistic and writing skills. We would like to congratulate all the winners. We have some stellar news from NASA. The Space Agency has appointed its first female head of science. 
Solar scientist Dr. Nicola Fox, who originally hails from a small market town in England, steps up from her role leading NASA's heliophysics division, which studies the sun. Dr. Fox described her new post as the best job on the planet. She now hosts the first string to a space mission budget almost worth $8 billion. Whoa, that's a lot. Exactly. And rightly quoted by Dr. Fox, whatever you're interested in, whatever your heart tells you you're interested in, that's what you should do. Arav, have you heard about this amazing AI design city of the future? No, what's that? An Indian architect, Manas Bhatia, used AI to design some futuristic skyscrapers. And guess what the AI suggested? What did it say? Vertical forests. Isn't that mind-blowing? The design is a perfect blend of sustainability and jaw-dropping futuristic architecture. Wow, that's amazing. How did he manage to do that? Well, he entered a series of text prompts into the AI software called Midjourney. For example, utopian technology and futuristic tasks. And the AI software did not disappoint. It depicted buildings wrapped in vegetation and borrowing structural shapes from the nature. That sounds like a dream come true for nature lovers. Why did Manas Bhatia choose this project? Well, like many other architects, he believes that the future of sustainable cities lies in making room for nature. He wanted to create something that his team at and studio might not have been able to come up with their own. I can't wait to see what the future holds for architecture and sustainable cities. One of our favorite Agatha Christie books is The Moving Finger. Although the tale is fairly cruel, there isn't much spite in it and it's massively portrayed here. Once again, idyllic village life is depicted with clear sky, happy faces and lovely country life. But beneath it lies murder and poison pen letters. Christie wrote her characters as big and bold. They really are that here. Agatha's Christie inclination towards the use of psychology in her storylines are just a cherry on top of the cake as they enhance the reading experience. We highly recommend you to add this book to your mystery collection. It is the perfect pick for you if you are into mystery and adventure run books. It tells the story of the Losers Club and their battle against it, an evil shape-shifting entity that has insidiously infected. A missing child and a death. They are a tragedy, a horror. But they are caused by the evil that men do with rational explanation. We definitely recommend getting your hands on this Stephen King novel and see his supernatural, tragic imagination come to life and blend into that of your own. Well, with this, we have come to the end of today's episode. Stay tuned viewers for our next episode where student hosts like us will be bringing you interesting news coverage from our campuses and the latest news bites from around the world. We would love to hear from you. So do share your feedbacks, ideas or any interesting topics that you would like us to cover by writing to us at smart360 at globalindianschool.org. Until next time, this is Aarav. And this is Ritisha. Signing, Signing off. off.